I'm very drawn to churches. I love them. Mm. I, I, I would call myself a Catholic. I would call myself a, a pro-choice, pro-transgender, pro-homosexual. We live, we, what, what an amazing country. And ama that, you know, people think Ireland is so conservative. We have a gay Taoiseach. Yeah. An open, now, it's not that long ago, here, we weren't allowed to be left-handed. So... <laughs> That's how far. That's a big leap. That's how far we've come. <laughs> so my and I. Well, when, when you list those out and say you're pro all that, the, the, what's the opposite of that? You're also pro, if you want to call it the opposite. But you say you're pro Jesus, you're God. Absolutely, pro... yeah. I think I think it feels to me that we're born with an imagination, and you can't live without it. There's no way human beings can operate unimaginatively in the world. Yeah. Animals can. Animals have emotions, but they don't have an imagination. So we're burdened with it. So you have to choose a path that rewards you the most. Uh, and even though you know it's an enchantment of sorts, you choose a path. And for me, right now, at this particular moment in yeah. time, it's Catholicism. I just, my heart get so rewarded, so I, I feel like it's a bountiful, proper place for me. Every Sunday? Once or twice a year. I would go to Mass, I would go to churches an awful lot and, and sit there and, and listen to rosaries and stuff like that, but, yeah. so, but I would not be somebody who uh, would ever tell anybody else how to live or anything like that and it's hard enough it's hard enough being me and being alive everybody needs space and what you do with that space is up to you you know but this road of for the moment now of catholicism it's working for you i wouldn't say i wouldn't even define it as working it's uh soulful it's good Thank you.